Hey y'all, peace on earth and love and light to you. This is Pisces July reading. Okay, so um you guys are familiar with this deck. I've been doing um here lately I've been doing my readings with mostly this was mostly this deck, Whispers of Lord Ganesha by Angela Harfield. And this deck is called Spirit Messages by John Holland. I started out with this deck but I lost it so I'm so happy to be having it back. So in the other videos, in some of my other videos, I was telling you guys to be led by a crystal, but one of those crystals I have misplaced and I didn't have time to find it. So you guys just be led by a deck, a deck okay? Deck A, deck B. And also listen to your sun, moon, and rising signs also. But those of you who are led to deck A or whispers of Lord Ganesha deck, this is your reading. Okay, guys, let me go ahead and say this because I'm feeling led to say this. Sometimes when I have a lot of cards out, and this is really not a lot of cards to, cards to me, but sometimes, even with four cards, like, um, I might tend to forget to go over a card, but the message will still be the same. So, I just want to let you guys know that just in case. So, um, for this message and for future me messages so the thing is what i'm picking up with this card is i'm just feeling like there is some doubt and i feel like this inside card is here just to say that this is something that you have been thinking about and you've been wondering about but it seems like you've been having some doubt about your future and i think that's why this future card is there because you just been really pondering what should you do with your life how should you go on and um this drive card is there because that's basically what it's saying it's just basically saying you're wanting to move forward it's like some of you are just feeling stuck or you're having this hopelessness feeling but you want to know how to move on how can you go how can you move forward ahead and this is just something that you've been thinking about this is also the third eye chakra card and um so if you need to um if you feel led to and i'm going to advise you to um meditate on your third eye chakra and also you can do like it's some guided meditations here on youtube if you don't know how because this can give you insight to a lot of stuff by um balancing your third eye chakra and i feel like this joy card is here just to confirm to you because some some of you guys just need this encouragement just to know let you know that joy is coming there it's like at the end of the tunnel so for the month of july um this is just something more you should focus on Focus on just encouraging yourself more, Pisces. So, I just feel like some of you guys are just feeling hopeless. And you're just wondering what your future is going to be like. And the thing is, I'm glad that this Permits of the Future card is here. Because it's actually not just saying that you're just looking into the future. But it is what it is. It's just saying this is a Permits of the Future. That there is light at the end of the tunnel. And for the month of July, just focus on opening and balancing your third eye chakra and don't give up and continue to this drive card is there and the thing is continue to keep going on step by step i think for the month of july some of you guys would be just kind of hesitant when it comes to most things or it seems like you're just kind of barely making it but the thing is, um, joy is coming for you. And I feel like kind of whatever this is you want to happen, this will be more so um, the last about the end of July. So as long as you just keep your momentum, your momentum up <laughs> and as long as you just continue to encourage yourself, I'm trying to talk. So you guys know. When it comes to me and pronouncing words, okay? So, be patient with me. Just as long as you just keep that fire going, you know. <laughs> then everything should be okay. I feel like you just have to vibrate the same as the universe. And the universe responds to positivity. And I feel a lot of hopelessness has been going on. And you've been really... Um, kind of down on yourself but continue to believe in yourself okay because i mean everything that people tell you that you're not 
that's usually the thing that you are so you know whatever the enemy or low vibrational beings usually try to fight you with is usually the main thing that's going to be your calling and the thing that you're good at okay so um don't lose hope hope keep your fire keep that momentum keep that you guys i paused the video because i'm trying to figure out how to say that word and i just feel like it's necessary momentum is that it I just feel like it's so necessary that I say that. Keep that going. But I need to learn how to say it right. Right? <laughs> well, that's your message for the month of July. There is joy. There is light at the end of the tunnel. Okay? So be encouraged. Those of you who were led to deck B or the spirit messages, here is your message for the month of July. Okay, so this is your message for July. Right away, I'm picking up this relationship card. It is what it is. This is a relationship that's going to be new for you in the month of July. A new relationship is coming. And this is also a relationship that needs to be mended. It's coming. And it's going to happen in the month of July. Some of you are losing hope saying like, is this person coming? Am I going to be in this awesome relationship? And this is just saying, be encouraged. Keep your passion. Um, keep your passion. Stay fired, about, stay fired up about this thing. Just continue to be encouraged because this is coming. And I feel like a good twin flame or soulmate relationship is coming up for you. Just don't lose hope because this is coming up for you. And I feel like some of you in the month of July... This will happen for you. And for another group of you, it seems like it's some relation, a relationship that needs to be mended. Whether it's something that has to do with your mother, your father, or some type of friendship. Um, that you're kind of giving up hope on and feeling like, I don't know if this was going to happen or not. And this message is basically coming out because I guess this will be something big for you in the month of July. And it seems as if this is just something that you have lost. It's just like you have lost hope for. And it's like, in some of you guys' relationship, it's like the passion has gone out from it. But in some type of way, if it's something romantic, just continue to... Uh, keep you know think of new things to do new creative things to do because this relationship will get mended for you in the month of july so don't give up hope and for some of you pisces this is actually a new relationship that's going to be coming for you and that's your message you guys so continue to come and grow with me and subscribe you guys and if anything resonated with you i would like to know in the comments so that is all bye